right, we've been talking all morning how the temperatures are, are really popping upwards and the humidity too. So uh, what better uh, time to talk about popsicles? And we're going to put some real pop into popsicles. Uh, Diego Burgos uh, back with us from uh, Soltoro over at Mohegan Sun. Nice to have you again. Excellent. Delighted to see you here because when I when I read what we were cooking up today, I said, all right, we're going to do adult popsicles. And I went, OK, go on. And really, I can't believe this hasn't really taken off in, in years past. We're putting a little alcohol in the popsicle, taking your signature margaritas and, 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 and taking them on the road, so to speak, right? Absolutely. A paparita. Perfect for the summer. <laughs> Again, trademark that. Yes. All, right. All, right. All right. Let's go to All work. Right. Let's see what you're doing here. Yeah, All right. so we're going to go ahead and make the, the popsicle first. Okay. So we have a, a little bit of simple syrup. Mm -hmm. We have some, some fresh coconut water here. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, a little bit of coconut tequila. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get this together real quick. Um, so we have a little bit of simple syrup added right. to the coconut water here. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of tequila. And you and don't, don't want to overdo it with the tequila, you right? You don't want to overdo it with tequila. Again, that raises the, the freezing point of, of the popsicle mixture. Think about it. When you put alcohol in a freezer, it, 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 there's a reason it's not freezing because it's going to alter the temperature yes. of, of the mixture here. Absolutely. Right? So you want to put a little bit in there it's so it's science, there. Diego, yes. It's science, Diego. It's science. Absolutely is science, yes. <laughs> And throw the little pop in here. You can use this one that we that we found. You can use a regular popsicle maker from anywhere. You can pick up those anywhere. Absolutely. Throw those in the freezer and you're ready to go. And that's all you have to do. All that's right. All you so, have to do. so take a look. So now we're gonna get a little crafty here because how many different margaritas do you have over at Soltoro? Uh, I think we have eight margaritas eight? right now. So yes. you can literally do this with eight different flavors. You can do whatever you want. So look over here, and, and uh, you got two of your signatures right over here, right? Yes. And those are? We have our strawberry coconut and our watermelon kiwi. And so not only can you put that in, into popsicle form, but can, you can also add a little fruit to it if you want. Absolutely. Right? So you, this is where you get to be creative. If you've got uh, blood oranges, if you've got kiwis, if you've got whatever the heck you want, go, go ahead. So uh, now... These are, you could make these in advance, and obviously, as, yeah. I, as I bring this over here, you could do this a couple days before your party, just to have a lot of room in your freezer, and you're good to go, right? Yeah, and then you can go ahead, and we can go ahead and throw the drink together, the base, and throw your pops go in there. So, so it's one, it's it's one of those real fast. plan in advance sort of thing. Yes. And 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 are you are you selling these at at, at the joint? We are selling them right now. <laughs> yeah. Come and grab people, one. people walking out into the casino holding onto a popsicle, going, "Where can I get that?" I think they eat it right away <laughs> and, and, and kind of go from there. Maybe hoping to get a second it, one. It may melt by the time you leave uh, Soltoro, so yeah. keep that in mind if, if you're headed over to Mohegan Sun. Mm -hmm. What else you got going on for the summer? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and make the margarita real go, quick, and go we'll ahead. talk a little bit about some of our our signature items at Soltoro as well. We uh -huh. do a, a table side guacamole. Uh -huh. uh, very fresh, very refreshing that you can't go wrong with. Um, and then our fajita is a, a Long Island, New York strip fajita. You come in with the fresh bell peppers and it's, it's beautiful. And you know their sister restaurant is upstairs. That would be the uh, Michael Jordan Steakhouse. So you know the steak that they're using ain't the cheap stuff. No. It, it's, it's not USDA grade D minus or anything like no, that, it, right? No, it's top notch US prime. Finish that up as we as you do that. We'll remind you that to uh, our right right now is a list of the different ingredients that you can use for your margarita. That becomes a paparita. But again, keep in mind, this is where creativity counts, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Shake that up and pour it up. And again, you can visit Chef Diego over at Soltoro uh, anytime over at Mohegan Sun. They got a lot of fun stuff going on at the casino. All right, we're going to take a time out. I'm going to have a drink, maybe a sip, maybe a tiny little sip. We'll go, have man. a look at the hot forecast when we come back. Chef Diego, always a pleasure. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. See you. Yeah.